WNDS Sports and Flat State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. A terrific crowd on hand, and thanks for joining us at home as we're ready to bring you another edition of Candlepin Skins here on the Winds of New England. I'm Doug Brown, along with Dan Murphy. And, Dan, we have uh, two guys returning, of course, from last week. Dan Broder, who had a big 176 uh, and went on to the victory. Paul St. Pierre also bowled very, very well last week. They're both coming back. And the two guys that will join them this week, both making their first appearances with us here on the Winds, Dan Gothier from Ware, Mass., and Rich Clark from Bedford, New Hampshire. You know, a couple of interesting stories about those two bowlers. Of course, Dan Gothier coming from my area of, of the Massachusetts. In fact, Ware High School was a big rival of my high school, but <laughs> I actually used to bowl in the league at the house he bowls out of the rollaway lanes in, in Ware, Ma uh, Ware Mass. Yeah, so it's interesting. Rich Clark, on the other hand, both rookies, he's only been bowling about four years, and he's made the show. Now, did you teach him at all? Uh, were you part of this process? Well, I don't know. He throws with the wrong hand. He throws with the left hand. <laughs> but uh, I've given him a few pointers along the way, yeah. All right, we'll see how he does, and uh, we'll see how everybody does. But let's refresh you up to date on the rules now, in case you're new to the uh, game here on Candlepin Skins. This is how it works. Each box, and we do bowl two games here on Candlepin Skins, not three as we do on singles. Each game, each box is worth a different dollar amount and the bowlers will compete one box at a time. The high score in each box will win the skin. If two or more bowlers tie with the high score in a box, then it carries over and the money adds up. And of course, that's when things get oh so interesting. We had two skins worth $100 or more last week. The top two scorers in total pinfall will return next week and of course get a chance to pile up more money as Dan Broder and Paul St. Pierre have done from a week ago. All right, here's the money situation. First three boxes each game worth $10. Next three boxes worth $15. Boxes seven, eight, and nine worth $25 each. And the 10th box worth $50. And of course, the, uh, the large boxes come from the big carryover amounts. And uh, Dan Broder is the, uh, the big carryover guy right now. He's got, speaking of carrying over, <laughs> this is going to be his fourth week in a row here. He finished second the first two weeks. And then last week, he came up with the big score to get the win. That's right. He came up with that big 175 and just wrote it on, and he's back with us. And uh, these bowlers are going to try to do the same thing this week. All right, four bowlers ready to go on Candlepin Skins. We will start the match right after we start these messages. Don't go away. You're looking at Dan Broder, who was the big winner last week, and he will start it off today. In the Kelly Green, I guess you'd call that a Kelly Green shirt, right? Sure. And now in the mauve. Call mauve. it mauve. I don't like purple. No. Mauve. Mauve? Yeah, we'll call it mauve. Is mauve the same as purple? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> well. Ooh, this crowd is brutal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, Dan Broder with a four box. A four <laughs> box, and he takes a bow on the way back. <laughs> and Paul yes, St. Pierre see. with a six, and he leads the skin right now with a six. <laughs> what, he's letting these newcomers have a skin so they won't feel bad, or what? Hell of a start. Dan Gothier. And Rich Clark, There are two newcomers up on the lanes together, and Rich Clark with a strike. That'll win the skin. Sure will. That's not bad. First ball you throw on TV, you win a little money and throw a strike. This is an easy game. Of course, when he's looking at a four and a six, kind of gives you a little bit of confidence up there. <laughs> Everybody's going to be coming to you for lessons now after that performance. Rich Clark with a $10 strike. Kicking out the five pin. Oh. 
Paul St. Pierre, a chance for a spare there. And <laughs> not quite for Dan. And, and the ten, ten box. for Dan Broder. Nice shot. Nice shot. You'll hear the bowlers commenting on uh, the goings on here from time to time. Microphone down in the pit. You might notice our scoreboard. Uh, we have Dan B for Dan Broder, obviously, and Dan G for guess who? Dan Gothia. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan Gothia kicks out a few pins, leaves himself just the six ten. Spare to have the skin here for somebody. Or else eight. Paul St. Pierre will take it. That's an eight fill for Rich Clark strike. Give it to Paul St. Pierre for ten dollars. Ten bucks for Rich Clark. And a ten box for Dan Gothier. So as we did last week, we're starting off no carryovers the first two frames. Dan Broder, back to the scene of his four box <laughs> in the first. <laughs> Paul St. Pierre with a seven on that spare fill. And another one. Paul St. Pierre is second mark in a row. He had a double strike early in last week's match. Nine for Dan Broder. And just 23 for Dan through three. 33 for Paul, as you can see. Rich Clark and Dan Gothier. Up to bowl their third frame. Oh, yes, big strike, Rich Clark, and he will win another skin. He likes that lane 29. It's two balls he's thrown over there, and both strikes. Dan Gothier for his first mark, not quite. Dan Gothier was uh, telling me that we bowled on the same team several years ago in a benefit for a March of Dimes or one of those uh, matches that we had. And I thought he looked familiar when he walked in, but it's been a few years. <laughs> and you're getting old, so it's tough <laughs> to remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paul St. Pierre working on a spare. Big Phil, maybe all of them. Kicked out the six pin, leaves himself to four. Dan Broder over on that lane 29. And I have to have Cindy Sissom check the uh, pin for Dan Broder before Paul throws. Paul appears to have uh, about as close as you could want to a gimme here on the eight pin. Well. If it wasn't, it won't be now. <laughs> He's going to blame this one on you, Doug. Nah. I wasn't worried. Nah. Three in a row for Paul. 3 six, ten for Dan Broder. Looking for his first mark, and he gets it. This is a $15 skin here in the fourth. It'll take a strike to win it now. Well, Rich Clark knows what that's like. Light hit this time. Let's see. Whoa, that 10 pin was going to go. The other piece of wood turned. There it is. And there it is. Dan Gothier steals it with a strike. His first skin and his first mark, more importantly. And Rich cannot make that happen. Trying to make something go with the wood. Not really much of a setup there for him. And it's an eight box. 54 through four for Rich Clark. Pretty close match, really. Just 20, what, 19 pins separating, 21 pins separating top to bottom. Paul St. Pierre will be working on his third mark. Dan Broder will fill his first. 
with six. Paul St. Pierre with nine. To take the lead. Oh, good effort by Dan Broder. And a spare for Paul. Make it four in a row for Paul St. Pierre. Four spares in a row. And the 10. For Dan Broder. And we get a little scoring change there. Dan Gothier working on a strike. Look out, there's oh, a double. double. And he may win the skin if Rich Clark can't match it. And give another skin to Dan Gothier on the double strike. We've had a lot of uh, fireworks here in our first segment. Five boxes complete here. And you see the situation. Give it a 10 to Rich Clark in the fifth, leaving him with 64. And there's the situation, the double strike for Dan Gothier. Dan has won skins in the fourth and fifth box. And we will return here on Candlepin Skins with more. Dan Broder. And Paul St. Pierre to take the lanes, and Paul is working on his fourth consecutive mark. He's already at 71, plus this ball. A little heavy that time, let's see. Seven, eight. The eighth pin went after uh, Dan Broder started his approach, so eight on the mark for Paul St. Pierre. For five in a row? No. Ooh. Dan Broder continuing to struggle here. Paul St. Pierre takes a 10. And Dan will counter with six. So no marks up yet here in the sixth. It's a $15 skin, this, mar this uh, match, Dan, starting out like last week did with skins going in every box here. Rich Clark up on lane 30. And a big ball coming up for Dan Gothier, working on a double strike. And here he goes. For the triple. Looks good. Nice ball. Nice ball. He'll settle for nine this time. Remember, there are no marks up on the board here, so Mark will win it. Not for Rich Clark. And it's not an easy spare for Dan Gothier. That wood is way out in front. The red line, the ball may come off the sidewall, or you want to try to cap it. He's trying to cap it. Oh, oh got very it. nice. Great shot for Dan Gothier. His third mark in a row and his third skin in a row. A 10 for Rich Clark. Come on, Dan. So Dan Gothier sweeps the uh, three $15 skins there, boxes four, five, and six. And now we move to box number seven, which is worth $25. And Dan Broder first for the big strike. That's the ball he was throwing last week. Three, six, four, seven left for Paul St. Pierre. Trying to split the three and the six. Got a chance, got a chance! Shot by Paul St. Pierre. Let's, Let's take look, look at the strike for Dan Broder. Brooklyn hit. Trips out the six pin. Great spare for Paul St. Pierre. Dan Gothier off target for the first time in a while. Fills his mark with five, and that strike for Dan Broder will give him the $25 skin, his first. So everybody's on the board here with skins already. Rich Clark just sliding by the head pin. 
Nine box for Dan. 103 through seven. And Rich Clark will take a nine for 83 through seven. Well, when Paul St. Pierre fills this mark, he will probably take the lead, but we'll wait and see. And Dan Broder, of course, working on a strike, would like to throw a double and get back in this match. Oh, Paul turned away from this. Turn back around, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw that ball and turned away. And he ended up with an eight fill and a spare lead. Dan Broder working on a strike. Right, see a pretty one here. For another mark? Yes, sir. Nothing to it. Paul's bowling so well he doesn't even have to watch anymore. <laughs> That's a six fill on Dan's strike. And he's got the two, four, seven, ten left. Paul St. Pierre is just going to clear out a piece of dead wood that has come up. Let's take a look at his spare. Just catches the head pin and the ball and a piece of wood go down and clear out the 10. Well, Paul's, Paul's not as good at hitting pieces of dead wood in the lane as he is uh, when, uh, when the rack is up there. So we're going to have Cindy Sisson go down and take care of that. We don't want him to get tired throwing those That's right. balls down That's there. Right. <laughs> Paul already has six marks in the first eight boxes, and he has the lead in the match by four over Dan Gothier. Rich Clark third right now, and Dan Broder fourth, but still fairly tightly bunched. Seems to be going the same for Paul St. Pierre this week as last week. He's bowling very well a score, but he's up to this point, he's only won one skin. Look out, Rich Clark. Very close to a strike. A strike will win the skin here for Dan Gothier. Oh, look at that pin oh, smile. Wow. That's the three pin now, right in front of the six. Oh, he's got a big smile on his face. Oh, we may have our first carry over here. There it is, the spare for Rich Clark in the eighth. So we'll carry it over. The ninth box will be worth $50. Oh, oh that was almost a great shot by Dan Gothier there. Can't help to think if that was on a spot, he might have had that for a spare. And Dan will take the 10. So, box number nine worth $50. Like when we qualify, wasn't it? How many times did we do that when we qualify? <laughs> Dan Broder. Oh, two spread eagles in a row for Dan Broder. Paul St. Pierre on a spare fill with the strike. And he is often flying this first game. Dan oh, Broder. Broder. Ooh, good bid on the spread eagle. Ball's already at 137, plus the two balls in the ninth frame. Nine box for Dan. He's at 89 through nine. Paul St. Pierre will win a $50 skin unless somebody can match this strike. And of course, Rich Clark would like to match it because he's in third place now, trying to catch Dan Go Gothier. Did he get it? No. Rich Clark to try, and he does get it. Halves that strike in the ninth. Whew. Took the money right out of Paul's pocket. That was strike on spare for Rich Clark, by the way. For the spare for Dan, he's got it. 123 for Dan in the ninth, plus the ball. We move to the tenth. With a $100 skin, this is exactly what happened last week. The first seven skins were won. And then we had a $100 carryover to the 10th box. And Paul St. Pierre almost throwing a double. Dan Broder now. He's in the pocket for a strike. A much needed strike for Dan Broder because he's only at an 89 through nine. Oh, and Paul slides by. Paul will have to settle for something in the 150s. That's too bad. With that miss. <laughs> <laughs> a 155. Oh, great game for Paul. Cluster of four spares early in the match and then finish the seventh, eighth, and ninth with spare, spare, strike. Dan Broder filling his strike in the tenth. Dan, of course, will be leading. Can't l lose the skin. It can only be half now with another strike. Otherwise, he's going to win it. Nine box, 118 for Dan Broder. And here's a look at the strike that preceded. 
I take it back, 108, not uh, 118. It was 89 plus the strike nine for a 108. So you're right, Dan. It's either Dan Broders or a carry over here. Well, one bowl left. Last chance to have it. Dan Goss, you're looks working good. Spare, looks look good. Oh. It's a nine fill, but it's a $100 strike for Dan Broder. Rich Clark fills his strike with eight. Dan Gothier are looking for another mark, and he slides by. Rich Clark with the eight for a 129. Dan Gothier with the 10 for a 142. So some fine bowling in that first game. The $100 skin there in the 10th goes to Dan Broder. And you see the scores, 155 for Paul St. Pierre. He has the lead, Dan Gothier second right now, Rich Clark third, and Dan Broder will have some ground to make up in game two. We'll be back in a minute. In game one today, everybody on the board with skins money. Paul St. Pierre, though, with the big 155, just the one skin. Dan Broder taking that $100 skin in the 10th, leading the way in money winning, as he did last week. But he's in fourth place in pinfall, so he's got some catching up to do if he wants to uh, return again next week for his fifth consecutive week. He had the curse of the spread eagle there, the last uh, part of that first game. Finally threw the strike in the 10th. Now he's going to shoot it at two, four, and six. And oh, oh we're too good. the shot. Too good. Uh, yep. The wood behind it flew uh, through the two pin. Easy for me to say. In front of the six. Instead, it'll be a nine box. See what happens to the two pin. Watch it hit the piece of wood first, right there, and it directed it in front of the six instead of directly across and. Paul St. Pierre waiting. <laughs> it's funny, during the break, Doug asked if there's any questions, and Paul quickly responded, yeah, how do you win a skin? <laughs> <laughs> 155 and only won one skin. He'll take a 10. Well, he's leading right now on this one. It's a $10 skin here, That'd box number one. A little ironic there. Throw the 10 box and win a skin. Rich Clark right in the pocket, wants the 10 pin to go. It does, and let's see. Just the three pin. Piece of wood right next to it. That's a spare for Rich Clark. So now he's in control of this first skin with Dan Gothier still to throw. Dan Gothier from Ware, Massachusetts. Works as a computer programmer for VI Corporation. Well, has a good chance to have the skin with the one and two pins left. And he's got it. That will carry this skin over. It'll be a $20 second box. Again, just to remind you, the reason that skin carries over before they fill the mark is because it's only what you do in that particular box, not with the fill. The fill, of course, uh, is very important in terms of total pinfall, but in terms of the box itself, spares tie, strikes tie, they're equal without regard to the fill. One, two, and ten for Dan. Dan's just been a little off today. Won that $100 skin in the 10th, but... He's still struggling a little bit. Remember your cumulative totals down at the bottom. Yep. So you can follow just uh, what position each bowler is in and who is going to make it back next week. Paul St. Pierre. Oh, my. That looked like... Yeah, well, first it looked like it was going to be too full. Then it looked like he'd have the 4-6. And now he's got 
a one spare amounts to you and I could make. Well, <laughs> yeah, pretty much an automatic, huh? That's right. But hey, you never know. We were joking about that earlier, but Joe Ashline had a shot that you know you'd make 99 times out of 100 last right. week, and he slipped it by, and it might have cost him a chance to return. So. That's right. So 3-6 with a piece of wood angled. Uh, Pretty favorably, but he went by everything. Rich Clark right in the pocket. Eight pin drop on his spare. Right now, Paul St. Pierre, and he's having a tough time winning skins, is leading now with a spare, but Rich can take it away. Oh. Oh, still there. And the nine box for Rich. 27 and 156. Everybody's chasing Paul St. Pierre. And chasing him for the skin also in this second box. He's got a spare up. Dan Gothier. Well, has a chance to have the skin on the 1 8. Well, you see who's winning. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a few taken away from him. Paul St. Pierre has got the spare. Oh, there it wow. is. <laughs> So, box number three will be worth $30 now. Dan Gothier is closing in on Paul St. Pierre now, though. Both working on spares. Paul's at 175 and Dan's at 170. Meanwhile, Dan Broder just needs to get something up on the board. He's still in fourth, and he trails by a bunch for second. There's a spare for Dan. A reminder, be sure and be with us tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England for Canopin Stars and Strikes from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. Paul Berger will go for his second straight win. He'll be facing our number three seed, Stu Bergman from Millis, Mass. Just the three fill for Paul St. Pierre on the spare. Couldn't quite get the conversion, but he'll take the 10 box instead. So the spare is good for the skin for Dan Broder right now. Rich Clark to shoot. Rich from Bedford, New Hampshire. Rich and his wife Cynthia have two daughters, two and a half year old Lauren and eight month old Brandon. And Rich, along with his father, manage Clark's farm. Oh, did I say two daughters? It's obviously a son and a daughter. <laughs> Lauren and Brandon. He's not old enough to know yet, but when he grows up, I'm going to tell him. Yeah, he'll be insulted when he sees that tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan Broder's spare is still good, and Dan Gothier is the only one that can take it away from him. And he's going to have to make a terrific shot. Just four on his spare, so... Still the total pinfall is wide open. Well, that's a $30 skin for Dan Broder. Dan's up to $155 in skins, but he's still uh, a distant fourth in total pinfall. Just a seven for Dan Gothier. You see, no one's totally out of it. Dan Broder's working on a spare. He's at 135. The other three are kind of clustered within 16 or 18 pins of each other. 23 pins, I should say. Dan Broder needs a big fill. Gets it. That's pretty big. The 10 pin. Not this time on the single. And it's 46 for Dan through four. Oh, that close wow. for Paul St. Pierre. He is leading, but only by seven pins over Dan Gothier. 
There's the matching 10 bucks, so two tens up on the board here in the fourth. This skin is worth $15. There you see the totals, and Rich Clark is in a fight for that second spot. Oh, good break off the head pin, the one, four, seven, eight. A couple pieces of wood in between, but he's got to have the head pin. Got it for the spare. Rich Clark puts the spare up. Here's another look. Both of these bowls for the first time with us are, they look pretty relaxed out there. Bowling pretty well, both of them. Dan Gothier, Brooklyn hit, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Five, well, seven, ten. If he has this skin, he ought to win some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a piece of wood behind the five, so if he pinches the five on either side, it's gonna go one side or the other. He's gonna need some help with one of the other corner pins, though. Nope. Nope. So give that $15 skin to Rich Clark. And an eight box for Dan Gothier. So the spare in the fourth wins it for Rich Clark. He now has three skins for $35 today. And box number five is worth $15 also. Good pocket hit for Dan Broder, and he gets the break. Looked like he might have a very tough leave there at first. Looked like the 5-7, but the five, uh, that 7 toppled over leaves him just the 5-pin and really needs some marks. Gets one. He's still got some uh, making up to do here. I figured Dan was probably thinking about the box before, and he walked back and said to Paul, nice fill, huh? Because he missed a single to the box before. The 1, 7, 9, and 10. And Paul, all of a sudden, has uh, had a little drought. Oh. And he's not that far ahead of the other three bowlers. Gets eight. So Dan Broder's spare is good for the moment. Well, if there are big balls in the match, right here is one for Rich Clark. Trailing by 14, second place. Needs a big fill. Light hit, let's see. Gonna do some damage. Yes, oh, a lot of damage. Boy. Look out, look out on the 10 pin. Nope, it's not gonna hit it hard enough, but <laughs> wow. Knock down nine and we can still see six of them. Crowded down there, but he uh, puts the spare up. That could have the skin unless Dan Gothier takes it with a strike. And it puts him into second place at 194. Temporarily anyways. We have not had any strikes here in this second game, so that'll be a carryover to the sixth box. Oh, that's oh, yes. a big shot for Dan Gothier right there. How big is it? Boy. So as we go to the break, three spares up for the four bowlers, and you see how big it was, because Dan Gothier and Rich Clark are right now in a very tight battle for second. We'll be back on Candle Pin Skins in a minute. Dan Broder is working on a spare here in box number six, which is a carryover skin worth $30. And uh, he's at that point in the game now, too. He needs a huge fill on another mark. He just needs some help. A little full in the one-two pocket, just five. Eight box for Dan. 69 through six, and after throwing a 108 opening game, Dan's got to hurry. And this gentleman has been in the lead most of the way, and he's being threatened now by two bowlers. Ooh. By Rich Clark and Dan Gothier, so. This is gonna be tight. Oh. 
Paul's just trying to bail out of this box. And he does with an eight. Two eights. So more chances for Rich and Dan Gauthier to close the gap here. We could have a great three-way battle here coming down to the end if this keeps up. Rich Clark on a spare. Oh, Crick kicks out the six pin and a seven, but boy, he's got a tough leave. That wood didn't turn the wrong way and just stayed right there. It's gonna have to come up real high, the right-hand tip of the wood. And then there's no guarantee. No. Nope. I was just thinking that being a lefty and everything, Rich reminds me of Ed Jerolman. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if Rich would like that or not, but it's a compliment. He did, did pretty well on our <laughs> show. <laughs> Another eight. Three eights. Here's the spare attempt miss. He did what he could, but didn't get the break. Well, did Dan Gothier break beat an eight? That's what he needs. He did it. <laughs> you just missed it on camera, but Dan Gothier put his arms up in the air. Little pump sign. Is he thinking about skins or what? <laughs> He's got the money already. It's a $30 carryover skin. And another spare, more importantly. And he is now taking the lead in the match. Wow. And he still has a ball to throw on that fill. Box number seven as we come down the home stretch now, the seventh box worth $25. Dan Broder still far and away the skins money leader here tonight. But he is also far and away in fourth place. As he is uh, 41 pins out of second right now. Make it to 37 pins out of second. Trying to direct traffic on the piece of wood. I'm sure you'd like that wood to be out a little farther. Yeah, I think it's a little deep, but he's still going to give it a shot, I'm believing. No. <laughs> Dan with a nine. Paul St. Pierre, who threw that 155 opening game, has only had one mark here in the second game. And the four horsemen right. One, three, six, and ten, and really needs a mark desperately. Oh, he plays it outside. I thought maybe he'd get caught in the middle there, but the ball kept cutting hard to the left, and it went far enough left to convert the spare. This turnaround puts a lot of pressure on Rich Clark, that spare, because he's chasing Paul and Dan right now. Right in the pocket. Oh, yes. oh big strike. Woo. Oh, how big was that? They get bigger as we get deeper into this match. Crossing over Brooklyn pocket for the left-hander, the 1-3. It was light, but heavy enough to carry it. And he may win the skin. Let's see. Yep. Rich Clark takes the skin for $25. And this match just keeps getting tighter and tighter. Bear for Dan Gothier. Well. The skin goes to Rich Clark. The eighth box will be worth just trying to get out with a nine and well his only hope now would be to try to pick up some skins on the way out here. No there's still a hundred dollars in skins money available as we come down to the final three boxes. Now the three guys who are still in this thing really, Paul, Rich and Dan are all, Dan Goff here, all working on marks here in the eighth. Seven drop on Paul's spare, three, five and ten left. Two in a row. Yep. Two clutch marks. Take a look at that one. Rich Clark has got to try to keep pace. 
course he'd love a double strike. He's working on one now. Ooh. Too lofted, full that time. Lofted that one a little further out on the lane. That'll go. <laughs> Who was that who just said that'll go? I think that was Dan Glothier. <laughs> we turned around and gave the ball. He oh, was right! Oh! oh, he just did miss it. <laughs> that wood swung around and just missed clipping the two pin. And a 10 box. Let's Game see what inches. happened. Yep. Watch the three pin. Right between, clips the four, and just misses the two pin. Spare is good for Paul St. Pierre. Dan Gothier working on a spare, and it's a nine drop. Well, it's helping his cause as far as total pinfall. Needs this to have the skin. And uh, Paul St. Pierre is leading with the spare, so you know he's going <laughs> to knock this one down and take it away from him. <laughs> oh, look Not out! This time. He pulled it. Pulled it. Paul St. Pierre takes the $25 skin. He just got easy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dan Broder said that was easy, wasn't it? 10 for Dan Gothier. Now let's check the pinfall total situation. There it is. Now, Dan Gothier with that 13 pin lead over Paul St. Pierre, but Paul's working on a mark, remember. And closely behind is Rich Clark at 238. This ninth box worth $25. One and three left for Dan, trying to put a spare up for the skin. And drop that one a little bit behind him. The top two finishers here today will come back next week to join two, uh, two more bowlers coming in. One newcomer and one veteran. Mike Curry from Springfield, Vermont will make his first appearance with us. And Mike Sargent. From Bradford, Mass. One oh. of the veterans will also be in. Paul St. Pierre with a nine fill on his spare. Big nine, because he was only ahead of Rich Clark for second by three pins until that drop on the spare. Oh, he misses oh, the spare, though. Pulled it badly to the left. He knew it right away. Well, chance for Rich Clark. Rich needs a mark. He's got eight already today. Rich seems to uh, venture over to that Brooklyn side a lot. Yeah, that time he missed it. He's looking at the one, two, seven, and ten. Nope. They get what he can, it's just seven, so Dan Gothier comes up in another situation where he can uh, both improve his position and grab a skin here with a mark. Rich is already in really a double strike situation. Rich Clark. Well, not exactly a spare leave. No. <laughs> the two, two, nine, and ten, but he got a piece of wood there, so he can snap that wood off the wall and come across. Regardless of what happens, Dan will be leading the match going into the tenth. Nope. Oh, big this, carry over. This is going to be very, very close here. Single pins. Single pin difference from first to second. And then a little bit of a drop off down to third. You see it there at the bottom. Dan Gothier 262, Paul St. Pierre at 260, but Rich Clark still in it. 15 pins out of second. And that was a carryover skin, by the way, with the tens, of course. So the last skin of the day will be worth $75. Either here in the tenth or overtime if we have to. Three, four for Dan. For a spare? No. It's a 10 instead, a 107 for Dan Broder, 215. Oh, yeah. Dan can only hope now that nobody else marks and maybe he'll still be in it for that last skin. <laughs> uh, thanks. Thanks for 
That was fun. All St. Pierre. Remember, he is in second place right now, but he can make it very, very difficult. Actually, he can lock out right. Rich Clark with a mark. Well, he won't do that, so Rich can still beat him with a double strike. There's a 10 box for Paul, a 115 and a 270. So he seems pretty safe, but hey, Rich Clark, first time here, has thrown a bunch of strikes if he puts two together here. Well, they like one. That'll put him in the lead for the skin. Oh, oh almost. Wow. Well, the $75 is still there. Although we've now determined that it will be Paul St. Pierre and Dan Gothier returning next week. There is the spare for Rich Clark. And he could still walk away with the skin here. He'll stay up to fill that mark, of course. Determine his total. Two uh, very good games, too, by Rich Clark, but he's going to fall just a little short. Oh, well, just well, one on the fill. 127 and a two game total of 256 for Rich Clark, which is going to be just short. Dan Gothier needs nine pins to win the match. There's that, so he will finish first, and now he needs this to have the skin. And if he does have it, we'll take a break and come back and settle it in overtime. And there it is. We will take a timeout when we come back. All four bowlers are still alive for the last skin of the day at $75. We'll return in a minute. All right. Uh, the total pinfall situation is all settled, but we still have the matter of a $75 skin. So all four bowlers are in it for the first box, anyway. And Dan Broller shoot the one, two, four, and seven. And Paul St. Pierre will shoot at a bunch. <laughs> he missed it to the right. Dan Broder for the spare. Oh, no. that close. Great effort. Can Paul make his? No. By the way, uh, after we cut away to that break, Dan Gothier threw a five fill on that spare in the 10th, so he finished with a 137 and a two game total of 279 to win the pinfall situation. Well, there's nothing up there yet much uh, <laughs> scary. A nine for Dan, a seven for Paul. You see the, the uh, totals at the bottom and the two in yellow are the two guys who are going to, uh, I take it back, there were two in yellow because they haven't bowled yet. Dan Gothier and Paul St. Pierre are coming back. Oh! Clark. Well, that may be worth $75, maybe not. It's all up to Dan Goff here. Can he match it? it? Looked like a pretty good ball going in. No, it'll be $75 for Rich Clark. That settles the last skin of the day. And we'll be back to wrap it up for you here on Candlepin Skins after this break. Welcome back to the Londonderry Bowling Center. Candle pin skins in the books. And let's take a quick look at the total pinfall once again. We had that uh, overtime skin to deal with, but the pinfall was already settled. Dan Gothier, first time with us here on the Winds of New England, finishes first at 277. Paul St. Pierre will be back again. It'll be his third week. Paul has uh, got this thing locked. He's finished second now twice in a row, but he's bowled well. Rich Clark, his first appearance with us. He rolls a fine 256, but not quite enough. And Dan Broder's streak ends at four in a row. Now let's look at the prize money. Dan Broder will leave here with some more money, though, even though he didn't win the match or come back again. Dan Broder with uh, $155 in skins cash. Rich Clark taking that overtime skin for 135. 
The two guys that are coming back finish third and fourth in the money, but they'll get a chance to come back and earn more next week. Well, Dan had a tough day, but he got them when he needed them, and he won a few bucks in skins. And, uh, of course, both the rookies, their first time with us, bowled extremely well. That's right. So next week, Dan Gothier will return, and so will Paul St. Pierre. They will be joined by Mike Curry from Springfield, Vermont, and Mike Sargent from Bradford, Massachusetts. We hope you'll join us next Saturday. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England, we'll have our singles program from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. Paul Berger will go for his second win in a row. He will face our number three seed, Stu Bergman. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody. For Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you tomorrow.